Now we are going to look at how to update the module on the bottom right called entitled Fundraising Events. So just need to do a quick refresh here. There we go. Doing some I was playing with the codes earlier, so had to get so now we can see fundraising events is the title of the module and the latest article or update is entitled Trivia Night Appeal for William Morrison and spelling mistake which we can fix as well. Okay, first uh, we need to log into Joomla and let's have a look at the module. Uh, this one is fundraising events and nothing exciting on this page except very important is we need to know the category in which it feeds from which is called events box. So when we make a new article that will be fed through this uh, module, it needs to uh, be in this category, events box. So let's save and close. Now we're going to content, article manager. Let's click there first. So here is an article that was already created, Trivia Nights. Uh, let's change the spelling first. All right, so you can see in the article, and also this is noted on the home page. Uh, click the link; it'll bring up the events article page, and uh, the title on top, the article itself, and at the bottom, I've added a hyperlink, which will redirect them to the Facebook page. Okay, so two things we're going to look at. First is how to make a hyperlink. Actually, uh, one thing we're going to look at is how to make a hyperlink, and then how to uh, differentiate between a uh, URL hyperlink and one that um, prompts an email address. Okay, so I would recommend for now is uh, we have to toggle the editor. So just click here and we'll see the code. So sort of what's happening behind the scenes. The last part here is the bottom hyperlink that is going to go to Facebook this one year. So what we can do is we're just going to copy this, copy, and we're going to save and close this one. Let's go to menu, add new article. And let's just do this as a test event. And remember, the category is very important. We must tick events box. And we're back to the article here. Uh, let's just put in some test font using the editor. Test text. And then we're going to click HTML, hit return or enter, and control V, control or command V if you're on the Mac to paste the tag from the previous uh, article. Okay, so from here, uh, the two parts of the hyperlink. This is the tag. A is the tag. P just means uh, new paragraph. A is a tag. And where the reference is going to is this link here. So if I wanted to change this to this an example, uh, HTTP, google.com.au, uh, update. So although it says click here to visit the Facebook event page, it's actually going to redirect them to Google. So we need to also change this text here. Let's click HTML again. Um, and this is the text that is visible to the Okay. Update. So, here, so this is what they'll see for the link. So we click save and close. Okay, there's already been one article with the same name. Uh, let's do test event two for the title. Right? Okay. Let's go back to the home page. And we can see test event two was added. Let's click to the test event. So here is the test text and also the hyperlink. So this should be this to Google. There we go. All right, next. Is we need to go back to the trivia night article and have a look at the email hyperlink. 
the male tubing we don't. So we need to find the opening bracket that's over here in the far right, A, to the closing bracket there. So let's copy that. Copy. Cancel. Save and close. And test event two. Okay. Send all emails here. Then we're going to toggle the editor again. Send all emails here. So we want it right after the colon. There's the tag. So right after the colon and before the closing P tag. And this is the bottom hyperlink, so don't be confused with that. And so mail it to, so this is the email address that you can change. And also this is the visible text that the viewers will see. All right, so let's go update, save and close, and refresh. So today, uh, let's go, here we go. So this is the same page, send all me emails here, but click here. There you go, pulls up the email address and ready for them to send an email. Alright, so that is how you update the fundraising events module on the bottom right of your website.